Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Lena, and this is a very exciting video. I'm so in disbelief that this video is happening. But basically, I'm going to Europe, which is insane. Anyways, I could go on all day about how crazy it is that I'm even going, but I'm going on a three week trip through Europe. I'm going to five different countries, and it's gonna be very hot when I'm there. Really trying to get like somewhat of a decent like capsule wardrobe for this backpacking. I'm using a 40 liter backpack. Keep in mind, this is my first time going to Europe for one. First time backpacking. And it's also my first time going on a trip this long, I think in my life. But so yeah, today's going to be a pack with me for Europe backpacking edition. Sorry, I keep like clapping, I'm just so excited. <laughs> I'm actually using a 40 liter backpack that I got from Amazon. It was only like 70 Canadian dollars. And this is what it looks like. So, <laughs> that actually looks so small. I'm trying to not hurt my back while I'm going through all these cobblestone streets trying to get to the next place. This is the other bag that I'm bringing. This is gonna be the bag that I put my camera in, which is up there. This is the Uniqlo bag. It has like the bottom that's bigger and it fits actually quite a lot. Those are the two bags that I have. I will link these below. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm actually gonna pack. Let me get into it and show you guys what I'm packing for Europe. Okay, so this is my capsule wardrobe for Europe. People always say if you're doing backpacking, you put everything on your bed that you think you need and then half it and then half again. So that's essentially what I did, but this is what I came up with. And in total, in total I have 14 pieces of clothing, but that is minus my pajamas, which just to get this out of the way, for PJs, I'm just wearing these little like spandex shorts. They're really comfortable and breathable and you can also wear them on travel days. And then I'm just wearing a normal little breathable t-shirt just cause in case it's really hot. And for PJs, like if I find I need another shirt or something, I can just buy one. And my travel outfit is not part of this, but that's gonna just be a pair of leggings and probably this exact black top. Starting off strong, a white basic tank top. I feel like everyone will need this at one point in their trip. It's a white basic tank top. Like there's almost no way you don't need one. I found that most of the people online will say that sticking to the basics is the best way to go because that's the best way to make a capsule wardrobe. So. Next one is a very similar tank top. Um, it's slightly different in the cut. It's a little bit deeper, but it's also kind of still somewhat high neck. I mean, it's just a gray one. This one's from Dynamite. The one before was from Garage. I'll try to link everything I have down below if it's still available. Okay, this one, I did not realize. This is literally, I think this was from Blue Notes, like I, last year. So it's definitely not like a thing anymore. This is what it looks like. It has like a lace. It's like almost like a bra top, I would say. But this one, I swear you, it looks so good with everything. I don't know if it's just because of the lace or what, but it's giving European. <sighs> I don't know, when I think of Europe, I think of very like romantic like lace and like silk and a lot of neutral colors a lot of the time. But then if you think about like Spain and stuff like that, it's a lot of color. I try to like kind of give a little bit of color, but most of my things are neutral. But this tank top, I swear with the rest of the outfits, looks amazing. Like any, you can combine this a million different ways. Next up. A little colorful, small little top, and this goes well with all my bottoms. I tried on almost every single combination that there is for my outfits. I didn't like put on accessories or anything, but I just want to see like sometimes if you put something on and you notice you're like, ooh, this is like very contrasting. Like I had a couple tops that just kind of didn't make sense with my pants. Like I, I would have had to bring more pants and I didn't want to bring too many pants or bottoms, I mean. But anyways, just wanted to say that. Try on all your outfit combinations. But if you notice that bottoms, one of your bottoms like just doesn't really work with many things, just get rid of it. And then I got another little fun top that's like more cropped. This one's like very cropped, but this one looks good with all of my bottoms. And it's more of a muted color, but it's still a color. So we're doing something. It has little ties here, ties there. And it's like a deep V. It is really, really cute. And with like a bunch of necklaces, probably the thing that's gonna make my outfits go from a five to a 10 will be the jewelry, bracelets, sunglasses, stuff like that. So in total, I have five tank tops, but keep in mind, I'm going to be trying to thrift a little bit. So there is gonna be extra room in my bag, not a lot. And then funny enough, I only have one t-shirt. This is my reasoning behind it. I only picked one t-shirt because I'm gonna be wearing this black t-shirt 
which is pretty versatile. And then I also have my PJs t-shirt. But every single place I'm going to is all like 25 degrees Celsius and above. And the heat to bring cover-ups. So like anything for your shoulders, but I will show that later. So that's why I only have one t-shirt as a part of my capsule wardrobe. But this is also one of my t-shirts. And then I have another t-shirt and I'm planning on buying like a little vintage t-shirt. I'm hoping if I can get lucky. Before I say anything else, this top is backless. So that's the moment in itself. Then I brought three dresses and this one I honestly couldn't even have brought two but since it's gonna be so hot I feel like I'm gonna end up leaning towards dresses like half the time. So I brought this little white one. I'm absolutely in love with this. I've worn this in Kelowna recently and I had like I think it was like two different strangers tell me that they love my dress so I'm like oh my gosh I hope all the Europeans like my dress too. This one's from Urban Outfitters. Next up is this little dress. I actually have to wash this um, because I just thrifted it. No, I love the color. If it's gorgeous, the material is such good quality. There's little like pink flowers and a pink bow and it's really cute. And I think this is giving very like coquette aesthetic. If that's not how you say it, then Google is lying to me. So the last dress I'm bringing is actually a maxi dress. It is pretty wrinkly right now, but I do have a product that you can spray that uh, takes out the wrinkles. This dress is H&M and it has kind of like a deep V and it has these little ties on the side and it's maxi. It shows up on camera as more of a yellow. In person, it's a little bit more on the green side. What every single person has said in these or Europe backpacking trips or Europe capsule wardrobes, everyone always says you need a white linen. And honestly, it's so true. It's giving Matilda Jerf. Is that her name? Jerf? If you know her, I wish I had her style. You just need it. The next one I have for my little cover-ups or just like at night if it's chillier or something. This little top, I got this in a size medium from Urban Outfitters. I believe they were on final sale, so I don't know if they still have it, but I'm sure you can find something similar. I feel like at night, like a little dinner, you just throw this on top of your tank top and it kind of looks a bit fancier than the linen because the linen is more like relaxed. I mean, you can you can dress it up and dress it down, but I feel like this one is like automatically more like dressy and dainty than the other one. The last thing I have is bottoms. The thing I have is a maxi skirt and I actually just got this on Poshmark. Um, the seller got it from Meshki. It's really good quality and it looks stunning. It's more of a high-waisted, so it goes really well with a lot of my tank tops. I think it's $100 on Meshki, so if you can like posh mark or the rift a skirt like this and it's really good quality, you could use this for years. Next up, I got, this is my first pair of linen pants ever. It is from Hollister and they're high-waisted. They have like, it's like cargo pants kind of a little bit. They have like a stretchy band. It's not uncomfortable or anything. They're very breathable. They are also double lined. So they're not see-through. The last thing I brought is a pair of jean shorts. And I brought some Zara. These ones, I'll try to link them below if they're still available, but these are the Zara shorts. These are mom shorts, so they're longer. I fold these, fold them twice up. I, I would show it, but honestly, like I think you get the idea. I fold them up and it makes them like shorter, but they're not like booty shorts or anything. But I thought I would bring these ones because I can also roll them down for outfits that I wanna have like, I don't know, the longer like jorts look. It's not jorts, but the longer short look, I can also roll them down. So this is versatile because you can wear them in two different ways. So that's all the clothing I brought. And then I brought two swimsuits. This little pink one, stunning. It fits amazing. And then I had little bottoms here. Those were from H&M. My next one is just a black swimsuit and just a black like triangle bikini. And the bottoms have little ties because I love little ties on bottom. So those are the two swimsuits I brought. And then I have like underwear and then I have bralettes. And then the two pairs of shoes I'm bringing, I'm not even messing around with anything uncomfortable. I'm just going full force for comfort. So I'm bringing these Reeboks. These are the, I forget the name, but I'll we'll put it up on the screen. And then I just got these. I got these Birkenstocks and they're not very expensive for Birkenstocks because they are the waterproof ones. They have really good arch support, which is like the main reason I got them. And I am going to a hostel. So I want to be able to have these for the shower like a double use. Like I don't want to bring flip flops for the shower and then sandals for going out. Now I'm going to get into the little itty bitty things, just like random things that you might need and kind of like show how I'm going to pack it into my backpack. I got packing cubes. So these are the suited nomad ones. They're from Amazon. They give you six packing cubes and I'm using four of them. I'm using the two smaller ones and these are compression packing cubes. 
So you can undo this zipper here. You can see there's more room and then you put everything in there and then you use this to compress all the clothes down, which helps a lot with room. And then I'm only bringing one of the big ones and this will be for bottoms and more of like my linen shirts. The package that I got also comes with the travel uh, TSA approved liquids bag. Basically just a quick rundown of what I brought. I brought aloe vera sunscreen just for your body. And then I got face sunscreen. I also, this is the thing that you need to have if you're backpacking. This is the Downy D downy wrinkle releaser and i also brought a tide to go pen then i have neosporin just in case i get any cuts or anything like that then i have the cetaphil face lotion the gentle skin cleanser by cetaphil as well i also have hand sanitizer and i have toothpaste on this side here um the reason you're not seeing any sort of shampoo conditioner or body wash is because i have bar soaps for that but that's why my liquids are able to be all in one bag and then i have this is always good to have a little medical bag I say this is always good to have as if I've been on a European backpacking trip, but I mean just in <laughs> just in general, even like road trips or whatever, it's always nice to have like, there's always that one person that has everything. So I have little Tums in here, I have Advil, Gravel, I also brought vitamin C packets that you can put into your water. I believe there's also electrolytes in here or something, um, so it helps with hydration. I also brought little disinfecting wipes for any cuts, a bunch of band-aids, Pepto-Bismol. You can probably put more in here, but I was like, I can always buy something. And then I brought tampons and liners. Uh, not that you can't buy that there either, but I was like, I might as well have some on the go because you never know. Then makeup wipes. And I have a toiletry bag. This bag, I don't know if I'm actually gonna bring it because it's kind of like an awkward bag. Like the storage compartments are kind of weird. But in this part, I have a few tips, hair ties, little hair ties here. Also have a razor and I have earplugs because hostels or just in general, like even if I'm sleeping on the bus or the train, you can use those if it's too loud. Towel size hairbrush, one claw clip. I decided on the beige one just because it matches my unique bag and then I have this tiny little deodorant travel toothbrush and then these are the bar soaps that I have this one the conditioner that I have this is the shampoo one it's like I think it's like oat something it smells so good I also forgot to say that I'm bringing multivitamins these are the ritual ones I had to get adapters this one is like the European one and you have USBs, USB-C. Some reviews on this one that said that parts of Italy it didn't work in and I'm going to Italy. I got the three prong one and it comes with a USB and then those ones. I got a portable charger, microfiber quick dry towel, these locks. I also got this money safe or money belt is what they call it. This is the RFID stop. So I think it's it prevents people from like scanning something in your bag and like taking your identity or something. I don't know. I also have another type of fanny bag. This one is a waterproof one though. I don't know if this works. I do have to test it before I um, pack it. But this is more so when I go swimming, when we, me and my friend go swimming, can't leave our stuff like, on the beach just because people might steal it. I'm also bringing these laundry detergent sheets. I think we're doing laundry maybe twice throughout the trip and it'll be nice too because you can, I'm gonna bring like bigger Ziploc bags. So if I have like socks or underwear that I just wanna wash in the sink, it dissolves in the water and you can just shake it around and then just air dry it. Just in case, like you never know if you need to wash something like immediately. My makeup bag, I don't actually have my makeup in it, but everything, including my brushes for my makeup, fits inside this bag. And then I got this little travel journal. So now I'm actually just going to pack my bag and show you guys what it looks like. And I'm gonna actually weigh it as well because I told myself I'm gonna try to make it weigh like the least amount of possible. So let me pack it and show you guys.
I've literally had like five angles for this video in different lighting. I wasn't able to film everything just because I had to like literally play Tetris to just get everything in the bag properly. But I mean, I can lift it pretty easily, but it is definitely heavier than my practice pack. Right now, my bag is 16.8 four pounds, I think it was, which is not bad, but I feel like I could do better, but my camera's about to die. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe, and I can't wait for you. Bye.